Hi, Mama Curly here, back with another review. But before I get into the review on this Andis bonnet dryer, I'm going to need you to subscribe to this channel. Yes, please subscribe. I purchased this on my last trip to Target. It was 40 USD plus tax. In Canada, we don't have Target. With the exchange, it came to around, say, $60. Since I'm going to be reviewing this dryer, I thought why not give Kelly a flexi rod set. So you'll need flexi rods. I'll be using the curly detangler from Coily Curls as well as the detangling comb. Uh, our alligator clips from our shop as well. Some hair ties. And I'm using this mousse that we just got from Curlsmith. Kelly's hair has been washed and conditioned. I showed you that process in our last video where I did the review on the Rev Air. But here I'm just showing you how I'm prepping her hair, getting it ready to blow dry it. I like to detangle each section and then bantu knot it. This way it's out of the way and it's easier for me to make smaller sections when I'm blow drying. This will get her roots really well and her hair really straight. I know what you're thinking, isn't this supposed to be a review on the Andes bonnet dryer and not a flexi rod set? Yes. I'm going to get to that. I just thought I'd show this process that I take to give Callie the perfect flexi rod set. I personally like doing a flexi rod set on stretched hair. I find when it's wet, it takes longer to dry as well. The curls don't come out as I like them. This is my first time trying the Curlsmith mousse and just like any other mousse, it's the same. Can't really tell the difference. I feel all mousses do the same thing. So after I get a good amount of mousse on her hair, I then brush it through because I want my section to be as flat as possible before I'm ready to roll it up into the flexi rod. So here I'm just showing you how I roll it up. I roll it upwards to the top and then I just twist the ends to hold it into place. Callie requested half up, half down, so I'm just going to brush the top of her hair up into a ponytail and follow the same steps. I apply the mousse, I then take my brush and brush it through, and then I grab my flexi rod and roll it upwards. Then I twist the ends to hold it into place. The whole process of putting in the flexi rods took me around 20 minutes and this is what it looks like. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the Andis bonnet dryer. This bonnet dryer has iconic technology, dries hair faster with less damage, helps condition and soften all hair types, has a jumbo bonnet with secure comfortable fit, as well as two heat and speed settings. I personally love that it's super lightweight as well as portable. Oh look at Callie. <laughs> They were not lying when they said this is a jumbo bonnet with a secure fit. Look at this thing stretch all over those flexi rods. How does it feel? Good. Is it tight? One thing I cannot do is ask Kelly any questions when she's watching her show. I ended up putting it on the setting warm as well as high. Callie was so comfortable with this bonnet dryer on her head that she fell asleep. I let her sleep for an hour, and as you can see, it's not that loud. Callie's hair is a process, so we just ended up letting her play. Afterwards, she woke up from her nap, and then we're taking out the flexi rods the next day because by the time she's finished playing and doing what she has to do, it was pretty late. So first thing I did was coat my hands in our favorite growth oil by Just Be Unique. It's their strawberry growth oil. I like to coat my hands in oil when taking out flexi rods because I feel this will reduce frizz. And I don't want her curls being frizzy because we did not go through this whole process to have frizzy curls. So I grab our alligator clips from our shop Coily Curls. Yes, they come in pink as well as purple. Then I rub my hand down the curl and now I'm just separating it. I like to twirl it around my finger just to give it a little more definition and make sure that again there's no frizz. I love doing a flexi rod set on Kelly. I think it's adorable. Again as I said this is the whole process so she doesn't get these all the time. Only special occasions and this was the holidays so I thought it was only right that she has these cute curls. And as you can see, Callie loves them. She loves the outcome. She's definitely feeling herself. Look at her. 
Yes. <laughs> Here's a part that I think is super important, how to put away your Andes bonnet dryer. When taking off the bonnet part of the dryer, it can get a little tricky, but pull hard. Pull hard, it's not gonna break. As you can see, I'm pulling hard. There you go, and it comes off easily. So overall, I'm happy with my purchase. I really do like this and this bonnet dryer. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And thanks for watching.